Hey guys, this is Bales. I'm looking at the MBA version of our player models tool, which we are about to launch. And I wanted to walk you through um, just some of the data that we have and uh, how you can um, use the tool to uh, create models and rank players and create lineups. Um, so MBA is going to be based off of projections and, uh, that, that we create um, that like NFL, you will have the ability to edit. So in this particular game I'm looking at, we had Jordan Hill at 33 points. If you think we're wrong and he should be projected at 30, you can do that. It'll re-rate him. Um, and then anyone whose projection you change will have an X next to it. If you want to go um, and change that so that it uh, goes to our um, live projection, you can just click the X and it'll go back to whatever we have. Um, and we will be changing these projections very, very often. Um, NBA is uh, a unique sport in that the lineups basically aren't set until right before the game, so things happen, and, and we need to um, alter those projections as quickly as possible, and we will make sure we do that. We also have um, an updates section, and this will um, update uh, basically all day with all of the latest information when players are scratched. Um, it, we will have uh, that information plus analysis on how that affects um certain players, and then, of course, the, their uh, projections and ratings will change um, to coincide with that, that new information. So you can look at a bunch of the stats that we have here. Um, you can also click on the glossary here to learn more uh, about these. A lot of them are the same consistency and upside sorts of stats that we have for other sports, and then we have um, some NBA-specific things like player efficiency rating usage, um, some cool data on refs. Um, opponent plus minus that uh, shows the points above or below expectation based on salary, um, uh, particular position score against specific defenses. So you can look at all that different data to create a model. You're going to go to build here. and you, um, Like the other sports, you have 100 points to spend based on all of these different factors. Um, so bargain rating is sort of site uh Salary differences, it's a good way to find value. Vegas um, is, is the projected total. Opponent rating is that opponent plus minus that. So we have all these different stats, and you can move the sliders however you'd like um, based on what you think is important. Click Update, and we will re-rate the model for, for you. This is the plus minus. This is how many points above or below expectation you can expect each player to score um, or the top 5% of players in your model that's how many points above expectation they've scored um, in the past. So gives you the ability to immediately backtest your model so you can play with this and um, sort of figure out exactly uh, how you um, want to rate players, what's important to you, and, and what has actually worked. When you're done with that, um, click Optimize, and we will take um, this model that you have uh, created and optimize um, for the ratings to get the highest possible um, rating into your lineup. So in this particular night with this model, this is the optimal lineup um, to use on uh, DraftKings. Um, another cool thing that we're doing is shot charts. So um, this is Russell Westbrook shot chart from last year. We're going to expand upon this, um, make it a little bit, um, give you some more data and things, but it, uh, it'll be cool to see um, where players are shooting on the floor, how that matches up with defenses or how they defend, um, where they defend well and things like that. So yeah, that's the basis of MBA um, player models. So definitely uh, check it out and have fun.